What is up, New Beginnings Church? Happy Wednesday morning to you and welcome to this midweek devotion. We're going to get you over hump day and I got a great scripture for you. Psalms 139, powerful psalm. It's only 24 verses, so definitely like pause, go read the whole thing. Later today, read the whole thing. Before you go to bed tonight, read the whole thing. It's beautiful, very poetic, written by David and it says this. It says, you have searched me, Lord, and you know me. You know when I sit and when I rise. You perceive my thoughts from afar. You discern my going out and my lying down. You're familiar with all my ways. And then verse 14 says, I praise you because I am fearfully and wonderfully made. Your works are wonderful. I know that full well. Again, poetic, beautiful, wonderful thing. And and my observation on it was just simply this. It was thinking about why this was so important to David. And what he's, it's almost as if the revelation that he's getting is simply this. God, uh, in your infinite knowledge of all things, it just occurred to me that you know everything about me. You know when I sit and when I rise. You know my coming and my going. You know how many hairs are on the top of my head. You know that you know the inner workings of my thoughts. And yet, you still chose me. Yet you still love me. Yet you, you know, when you think about it, David would have had every reason in life to be an insecure person, right? When I say insecure, um, I I think of it usually in the sense of like, if you thought about a chair (laughs) and you looked at it and you thought, I don't think this chair is very secure. You're saying it's wobbly. I don't think it's got what it takes. Okay. So when you think about your own, your own sense of insecurity, what you're really saying is, hey, I've got some holes in my heart, some holes in my soul. There's some areas where I don't feel confident. I don't feel strong. I feel kind of wobbly. I feel like it could all fall apart, right? I don't have what it takes, maybe. And that's the insecure feeling. Well, David could have been insecure. Heck, his brothers rejected him. His dad didn't invite him to the big family thing with the prophet. Like later he's got marriage issues. Later he's got kids who betray him, who betray one another. I mean, his life is covered with chaos and drama. And yet in the midst of it, he's, it's almost as if he's saying, Hey, you know what? In this world, I have every reason to be insecure, but God, when I come to you, I don't have to be insecure. You know everything about me. It almost makes me think there was an old quote, by Charles Spurgeon, where he said, if anybody is ever criticizing you, he goes, never interrupt them and never defend yourself because if they knew everything, they would really have something to judge, right? <laughs> and, I, and I think, you know, David's flipping that idea on its head. He goes, yeah, I mean, there's some people that if they knew everything, they wouldn't like me, right? If I knew every thought that they have ever had, I wouldn't like them either. This creates relational insecurity. I don't know if they would really like me if they fully knew who I was. And yet that is the nature of what a secure relationship looks like. It's when you are fully known and yet still fully embraced and accepted. And he goes, you have that with your heavenly father. He's not afraid of your issues. He's not turning away from your crazy. He's not like running away from your drama. Remember, God invaded the chaos so that he could come and save and rescue us. And so I just want you to know today that you don't have to be insecure in your relationship with God. I want you to know that he already knows anyway. And what he's done is he's given you an invitation to boldly come to the throne of grace so that you could find help in time of need. And so for David, it was this brilliant and beautiful and amazing thing to say, wow, God knows every intricate detail of the the deepest, darkest places that my brain can go. He knows all the weird feelings I have. He knows every dumb decision I've ever made, and yet he still loves me. And so today, I hope if nothing more, that says, hey, you know what? I'm so excited that my heavenly father, he fully knows me and yet he still calls me his own. In light of that, I don't want to resist his grace or resist his wisdom or instruction. I want to run to that throne and get God's help for my life and my situation. Can I get an amen to that? Church, I love you so much. May you walk around today just being uh, in the full awareness of, no, no, I am fearfully and wonderfully made. God knows everything and yet he still chooses to love me. That's an amazing thing. Church, I love you so much. God bless you. Have an amazing rest of your week. I'll see you soon.